What is going on YouTube land? I am Chris Catalunya. Before we get into this video, go ahead and check out my Instagram at Chris Catalunya with an underscore at the end. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload a new video. Fight the algorithm. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. So right now, where are we going? No comply, baby. Support your local skate shop. So we're going over there because I shot where actually released this uh, some Nike SB shoes in four different colorways a white, a red, a black, and a brown one. Olive. Olive, sorry. And the objective right now is to get which color? Olive. Olive. Yeah, so I guess we're gonna get the olive. Right now, Kay is sporting the Potas. Thank you. And then I have the Nike SB Russet Brown or Russet Orange. So, yeah. Fuck, I'm tired. It's cold. Back in the garage, we have the shoes in hand. Crazy, it's now 2022 and Nike SB right out the gate are bringing out some heavy hitters by introducing a brand new silhouette. Now, if you're not familiar with who Aishad Ware is, he's a prolific American professional street skateboarder. Attaining accolades, he's competed in the Street League series, the X Games, Red Bull Solace, among other competitions. Skating for Nike SB, he's had several collaborations on SB dunks from the Magnus Walker dunks, the C Crystals dunks, among so many others. While all of the previous projects were great, having your own signature silhouette is where it's at. This is what we have here. Upon making the purchase, we have your standard Nike SB box that is done up in purple with the white branding on top and the sizing label up front. Flipping the lid, we have your tissue paper that looks like a topology map, and then right under that are the shoes itself. The shoe is said to be inspired by basketball shoes of the 90s, as Aishad Ware was an avid fan. More specifically, the inspiration was drawn for the Nike Air Darwin, hence the reverse swoosh that you see on the heel of this particular shoe. These were released on January 7th, 2021 for $100 USD. Add your tax and your VAT just based on where you reside. Many skate shops with Nike SB accounts, whether you're an orange label shop or not, they receive these pairs. They were made available in four different colorways, the white and blue, the red and black, the black and white, and then the olive and black, which actually looks more brown and black. Now, when it comes to skate shoes, we're usually talking two types. A vulcanized build is an example of your typical van shoe that's like cooked in a giant oven, or your cup sole build, which are shoes that usually have a removable insole and the uppers are stitched or glued onto the midsole. In this case, Nike SB deems this to be a hybrid of both a vulcanized and a cup sole. So, a vulcanized cup sole. Now, I need to see the process on how that's made because it kind of twists my brain a little bit. The idea behind it, Ware loves the comfort a cupsole shoe offers, but also loves how easy it is to flip a board in a vulcanized shoe. Removing the insole in white, you'll see Nike's infamous React technology, which offers a great deal of cushioning and shock absorption. On top, black fabric with eyeshot branding done up in red is laid upon the insole. The rubber midsole attains hits of red and brown that mends onto the uppers of the shoe. Looking towards the back, Nike SB is very legible right here done on this red portion. Black rubber runs all the way around the shoe, to which if you look on the lateral heel, you'll see that React logo right here. The bottom of the shoes or the outsole is done in a gum material to provide some of that sticky traction that is also helped by that wavy pattern that you see going on, and Nike swoosh at the heel. It's funny that we're working backwards on the shoe. Usually we talk from the upper and go all the way down to the outsole of the shoe. Definitely the reverse in this case is just the outsole and the midsole were the most interesting parts of this new silhouette. But let's get on to the upper. So the upper is done in this olive or this brown color. The box color is olive and it's done in a new buck material that feels pretty good to the touch and actually looks pretty good to the eyes. The vamp 
This is what we have right here. It's done in the perforated holes and it features a red Nike swoosh that is embroidered on. Moving towards the heel of the shoe, done in reverse form are those black Nike swooshes that are featured on the lateral and the medial sides of the shoe. Again, inspired by the Nike Air Darwin basketball shoe, which I shot where I loved. When it came to his first signature shoe, Aishad Wear wanted to make the point that it needed to be super breathable. Thus, he implemented these black rubber mesh panels going along on the quarter panels of the shoe. You can definitely blow into it and feel the wind go through, and it seems to be pretty durable as well. And it looks dope with the wavy pattern. Getting back towards the rear of the shoe, the collar is lined in this black loose gauge meshing which looks pretty good and it features a woven heel tab at the back with some more of that eyeshot branding done up in red. Moving on, we're only presented with a single set of laces, black in color, a flat shape, and a nylon build. They're pretty cool, they definitely match with the rest of the theming of the shoe. It would have been cool to get a second set of laces done up in red though. Behind those sets of laces, more of that black rubber meshing is found towards the bottom of the tongue, then you get more nubuck towards the middle, and then some tight knit meshing at the top featuring that eyeshot branding done up in red embroidery. This tongue is padded just enough. It's definitely not like the fat tongues that we're accustomed to seeing on the Nike SB Dunks. The inside of the tongue does attain a fabric piece that connects to the foundation of the shoe, some people like it, some people don't. It just is in place to keep the tongue in place. If you don't like it, go ahead and cut it. Progressing on, a cotton sock liner in red and black is found on the inside, and it is padded lightly at the lateral, the heel, and the medial of the shoe. And it feels comfortable enough. It doesn't add too much weight to the shoe. When it comes to comfortability in Aishad Wear's first signature shoe, with the React insole, the shoe is pretty comfortable. I actually prefer these Reacts to the Nike Zoom Air units. I like a more firm cushioning and the Zoom Air feels a little more softer. Definitely a preference thing. In terms of sizing, these do fit a bit more narrower than a Nike SB Dunk and would recommend that you go a half size up to a whole size up, just depending on how wide your foot is. Most shops will let you try these on as there isn't too much height to them like an SB Dunk. So if they don't let you, I'd say go and try on a Nija shoe. They pretty much have a similar fit. Overall, for this to be Aishad Wear's first signature silhouette, it was executed very nicely. However, I do wish that Nike SB did more to promote this release. I do love that they released them in not only one colorway, but in four different colorways. And I'm even more excited that there are leaked pairs online and there are more shoes on the way. Of the current release or the current series, this olive colorway is definitely my favorite where the whites come in a close second of the four. The $100 price point is very reasonable for any level of skater or any casual shoe wearer and is actually easily accessible at the shops locally or even online. And I also love that Nike and Nike SB, how they were able to leverage their Nike React technology to build this hybrid vulcanized cup shell shoe. And I actually hope that we see more of this collaborative effort going into their lifestyle brand. All right guys, I think this is a good stopping point for this video. What do you think about Aishad Wear's first signature shoe? Which colorway is your favorite of the four? And do you have any of his dunks? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Go ahead and check out my Instagram at Chris Catalunya with an underscore at the end. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload a new video. Fight the algorithm. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks for kicking it with me. I'm Chris Catalunya, and we will check you next time. Cheers. See you next.